Oh, I guess we'll go to war with the Ching, sure. Yeah, you know what? We're... <laughs> Me and Germany, we're at war with the French, or we're at war with the British, but we, we still agree, even though we're still at war with each other, we gotta beat up China. There, there's no doubt about that. The Boxer Rebellion has fired. Everybody's at war here. Sounds good to me, I guess. We don't care about the Boxer Rebellion, at least not right now. We, we care more about this war in Europe. We would like to see more reinforcements go to here. Better kill uh... Are you gonna reinforce this battle? I mean, you're winning, but like... It didn't really go that well for you. Battle of the Zanzibar Strait. I mean, how much does Russia have? Seven, 370 against 490. I'm guessing, did they get like stack wiped? Early on or something? Okay, yeah, you would accept now 16. We lost a battle at the sea, which probably brought our score down a decent amount. 17% right now. Vienna, they, I think we won the Battle of Vienna and then they just fucking left the city. I don't know what's going on there. Um, nowhere of our main core territory is being occupied. Does anybody want to be like, you can't tear peace out, right? Crisis Wars. What if we just... Okay, you won't accept this anymore. We have 41 here. Take a negative 2. Orphans rejoice that we found a mummy. Like, I don't know if... We, the only way we can attack is attacking through, like, Corellia. But that seems like a... Uh, a recipe for disaster. Wow, that was a horrible battle for us. We only have 1%. Germany. I guess we can mobilize, huh? I didn't even think about mobilizing. I'm assuming everybody else is mobilized, right? You're mobilized, you're mobilized. Yeah, I guess we should mobilize as well. That's a good battle. An excellent battle for us. I'm gonna just easily wipe out another five war score. Thank you. Yeah, we're really just wanting these little tiny armies to kind of cross the strait. Russia wants us Prusa. You want to annex Prussia from Germany? Come on now. That's not happening. That's not happening. Okay, we got a 75 stack. This 75 stack, I guess we can... Actually, we can, we can march through here. Let's march through Finland. Can I get military access through you? Probably not. Would be my guess. Oh, we got a 46 stack of British troops over here. Okay, turn around for right now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The Boxer Protocol has been signed. We love to see it. Okay, now we're at 21%. You're at 100% war exhaustion. You wouldn't even accept you know, like white peace, I think, right now. Which is like, come on now. We're going to wait for Brit to occupy this land. It is in... Well, your forest, your forest. But they definitely are dug in right now. So once you take this, you're going to go to... Shkin. Then we just attack with everything we got. 313, 340, 18 on Austria. We're at 47%? Damn. What if we just abandon, like, Bulgaria? Because we don't, we don't gain anything from actually giving Bulgaria land. Okay, we're now going to take... We lose one prestige per month. Because of one province got occupied. Holy hell. You know, that's a bad battle. Austria. F you know, yeah, Bulgaria. Sorry, Bulgaria. We, we completely abandoned Bulgaria. 
We were protected by... Oh, you're, you're already, you started my sphere. Oh, that's nice. Crank you up to 0.5. We can now demobilize. Um, I guess we f keep fighting here. I mean, can we even fight? 388 against 11. Just withdraw. It's not even worth the time. Colonies look like big butt, but that's okay. Let's go for good health care. Sorry, Bulgaria. Your crisis was mostly used for my political purposes. So I hope you're okay with that. But you're still friendly with Russia. I mean, Germany's now at war with France. Austria's at war with the odd. So you were just allies and now you're at war with each other. Hilarious. You only have 28 divisions by yourself. Germany's at 92. Andorra. We're in 7th place right now. I'm assuming, yeah, Austria. Probably, yeah, you know, they're in the ninth place. Population growth. Is there anything in our... Focus, or not in our focus tree, in our decisions to just annex Finland. Yeah, get a new capital for the for the empire. Fatal of civilization, build a Titanic. We don't have dreadnoughts yet. Embrace Finland. If we had full citizenship. Which we don't have. Who has full citizenship? Probably the socialist, right? Yeah, we can put in the socialist party, limited residency... You're a conservative party with actually full citizenship, but you are... Yeah, so we'll put in the socialists just so we can embrace Finland. Okay, embrace the Finns. And follow that up with subsidizing everything, expanding whatever factories can be expanded right now. We are poor. Because we don't need this much money spent on the army. We're spending all, what are we spending all this money on? Holy shit. Construction. Oh yeah, because we're building a bunch of new, new stuff. Okay, fair enough. But now that Finland is an accepted culture, will you ask to be put... Okay, yeah, because we have cores on you. And you are accepted culture. I don't know, actually, if you... By the way, are you still a Russian core? You actually are. Yeah, we get an alliance with Germany. Yes, we'll definitely host the Olympic Games. Sure, you know, Liechtenstein... You can't have a you can't have an alliance without Liechtenstein. Spanish Republic. You're friendly towards them. I guess we're not really fearing anybody, huh? We gotta make sure that you stay on our good book. Uh, we'll decrease the opinion of Russia down to cordial. And aside from that. I mean, we're still losing money. It's machine parts. Like, what are we building? That's, that's not being built right now. You guys, you need machine parts. Um, I'm sure we can build... Where, where is machine parts in here? It is there. Don't automate it. Just buy, like, 456,000 of them. Yeah, I feel like we can have an alliance. But you want to be integrated directly into our empire, right? I mean, why wouldn't you? Trinket subsidies. I mean, social spending's pretty high. Let's cut that for now. Like, we're spending so much money on pensions. There's too many old people in Scandinavia. I think that's kind of a problem we're facing right now. Okay, but France is going to get defeated by Germany. Are they going to demand anything? Not too sure. The war against Russia. I mean, well, I don't know how exactly it's going to go. Okay, the liberals have won the election. Are they the good liberals or are they the bad liberals? They're the good liberals. So we're okay with them. Let's cut tariffs a little bit more. So we're spending less on subsidies. Military spending is, you know, eh, it's okay. A lot of subsidies. Every like once in a while, it jumps up like eight hundred bucks. I mean, we have the money right now to kind of, you know. Okay, actually, will you ask to be annexed? I I don't really know.
Because it depends on whether or not you're considered a tag for the Scandinavian Union, which I actually, I don't, you might not be. We might actually need to remove you from our sphere and then just invade you. Okay, women's suffrage. Congratulations to the women. They now can have a vote in Scandinavia. We'll follow you up with, you know, Hot Blast. You have three divisions. Your decrease the pain of Russia one more time, and then we'll invade you. And then, because we, we need to start, like, focusing on sphering people outside of Europe. Well, not necessarily outside of Europe, just, like, outside Scandinavia. Okay, Finland. In a few days... We will declare war. Do you have... Russia, do you have cores on these areas? You do not. You just have cores over this land, and I don't know why. 100% war score. Sorry, Finland! It's not you, it's me. Do you have a navy? You might actually have a navy. We probably need to build more units as well. Do we even have a navy? Do we have a navy? We don't. <laughs> oh no, our army's just stuck! Finland! I don't know what kind of ships they have. Okay, they're gonna- they're like, okay, we, we wanna engage this one cruiser. But it allows our troops to actually cross in safely, which is nice. You're attacking into us. You're taking a negative three penalty. Okay, thank you. Like, like, Finland, I, I apologize that this is the way that it's going, but... Do we have cores here? We actually don't have cores over this area. Is this, wait, is that one? This is actually considered one state. Apparently, Corelli's got, like, their own little flag. Kind of ugly as hell. Like, that weird green and red. I'm not too sure what they're doing there. But do you only have six divisions left? You have two troops right now. We'll march our way into Helsinki. Germany, how much troops do you have? You have 100 divisions. Okay. You also have a 37 stack. And they're just hanging out in Italy. As one is wont to do. Okay, our sieges are going okay. That five stack of finished troops, I'm going to say, doesn't really make any... Uh, well, not, we're not worried about them. Let's just put it that way. How much industry do you guys have? You have three sand points? It's not horrible. Oh, you have all the engineers. No wonder you're sieging everything so much faster. At least one engineer in this army, thank you. I'm buying you up. Now you should siege at a much better rate. Assuming you have 100% siege efficiency. And you're at 71. White peace. Why would I accept white peace? We're at 60% towards victory. You gotta think, Finland. Like, you gotta, you know, propose things that actually make sense. Yeah, we can build... One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then, you know, why not we just go for eight for you? So I have, like, one decent-sized army in Africa. So at least try, we'll keep it, like, in the mountains to try to hold off, you know, British aggression or something like that. Mostly British aggression. Okay, you're almost dead. We're at 75%. You would accept uh, annexation. What does this even do? Oh, no. No, 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 no. We, we, no, we can't allow this. Change owner SAA to 982. Are we Scandinavia? Yes, we are. Okay. I was going to be like, no, no, no. We, we, we can't allow that. That is unthinkable. Keep troops in Helsinki. Keep troops in... Only keep troops in Helsinki. We're mostly... Like, this front with, with Germany is pretty safe. We're not really worried about that. Let's go for steam turbines as well. You guys need liquor. You need small arms. We have another... You know what about Jaland? Let's get more... 
What are some clerks here? Some clerks and some craftsmen. How many clerks do we have in the country right now? We have 0.38. We only need enough intellectuals to actually get the, the max research bonus off this. Unfortunately. But Scandinavia, I think, is looking pretty, pretty good. Russia still has the corner land. They might come back and try to take that land from us. Qing influence. I mean, I, would, I wouldn't mind... Uh... Twenty-five thousand dollars for some influence? Sure, why not? Even though I don't, I think you're, aren't you like too big to actually do anything with? Yeah, the population's too large. Romania is now at war with you guys. I think you want territory from Austria. I mean, Austria is very dead. We're also very poor. Cut military spending to nothing. Uh, reduce administration, and then increase tariffs a bit. Yeah, then we'll open, subsidize, expand whatever we can. Problem is, like, we just don't have... It's machine parts, right? Ammunition, actually, for these forts as well. So, you know, let's start automating and just buying large stockpiles of stuff. Buy more guns, actually. Just having a large stockpile, like, you don't lose anything. And it allows you to build and reinforce your armies better. And also start buying, yeah, crank out um, aircraft. So if you can start buying aircraft and we can like kind of hoard all of it, that'd be nice. Machine parts, we're buying those up. You're on now all building properly. Too many craftsmen, too many clerks here actually, apparently. Um, so why don't you go for capitalist? And in Stockholm, you guys should probably get some clerks going as well. No, you're already at, you're already at maximum for clerks as well. Yeah, get some intellectuals then. That seems fine. And you know what? Remove focus from you. Helsinki. Uh, okay, not not okay. What about clerks? What about intellectuals? What about the soldiers. There you go. Build, build, build some soldiers. Greece wants an alliance. Are you friendly with anybody? Are you friendly with the British? Friendly with the French? I can't fear you easily, so I'm gonna say no to the alliance offer because I don't really see much benefit of it at the moment. Oh, the United States. Who who likes us? The United States doesn't like us. Germany likes us, but that's about it. Portugal, you want an alliance? Do not accept other sphere leader. Yes. Can't do anything with Austria. Romania? You're friendly with Russia. You're hostile towards us. Ottomans, you're friendly towards the Japanese. Neutral towards us. What about Persia? Cordial with Britain. Brazil, Argentina, of course, are feared by the Japanese. Like, why would they not be? You know what, Peru? We can put some points into you. That seems okay. Yeah, let's go for then the combustion engine. We're only four more years away from 1900. 1900 doesn't really necessarily unlock anything for us. I mean, I guess they get a better tech. Austria is just like fully occupied. Oh, Austria. Like, Russia, are you not gonna like demand like territory or something? I would. Okay, curse of the pharaohs. Britain still hasn't actually done the Boer Wars yet. So we'll see them maybe try to annex that territory soon. Yeah, we do have a lot of units. I mean, what do you guys need? You need liquor and regular clothes. Buy like 70 regular clothes and then buy... I don't, I don't know. Buy, buy like 23 liquors. So you guys will actually start training up immediately, like that'd be nice. Okay, Peru, we can get you then up to friendly. Everybody's going to war with your uh, with uh, Uruguay because they want to. Wait, what do you want to do? You want to? You're trying to puppet people? Seems unlikely. So okay, so what's happening in Uruguay right now? is that Brazil and Argentina are both trying to overthrow the Communist uh, Party 
in Uruguay. But because they are both doing that, neither of them can actually get enough war score to to enact the to enact it, which is hilarious. Okay, so let's then go. Do we build our battleships? No, you need coal. Is, if, is that all we need? We don't have coal? Buy 326 coal. And then I guess we'll also try to build... Is there no max on you? Doesn't look like it. Can we at least build some cruisers? Colonial incident against the Dutch. I don't know who who's. You just need steamer convoys. I can I can buy steamer convoys. That shouldn't be a big big deal. Go 103. You are in the sphere of Germany. No, no, you're not. No, yes, you are. Germany would actually would accept a war. It would require a war against Austria, Ottomans, and Austria. Yeah, be, I mean, it's a big war. But what do you want to take from the Dutch? Like, realistically. Um, I guess probably maybe East Borneo to make our borders here look a little bit nicer, or we take over more of Java. I mean, we got a lot of sulfur there. I think sulfur's used for something important? I don't really quite remember. I mean, France, 92, 93, 0, and 31. Are you at war with anybody? You're at war with the Dutch and the Ottomans still. Because you guys want to humiliate them? Okay. Oh, no, Brazil got 100% against Uruguay. So we're going to do another, another cheeky save. Uh, let's go for you. Hey, Germany, you want to declare war and help me take over East Java from the Dutch? No, you don't. Okay, that, that's kind of what I figured would happen. Resign immediately. Yeah, like, it's, it's it. They will accept. They, they will not accept. They absolutely will not accept. It would have been nice, but it's, it's not happening. Which is a real shame for me and everyone else involved. We do need research. Let's research. You know, let's, let's get this stuff going. We, we haven't, like, touched it at all. Like, you're not allied to them. I guess you're, yeah, you're sphere leader, which I'm assuming probably sends out a call to arms as well. I'll see if Russia takes over Bessarabia from the uh, Romanians. Oh, no, you're in this. No, you're allied to Russia. Hungary has now declared their independence from Austria. Wave of colonial unrest. No reason to lose the prestige. Unless you're now just independent and Austria Hungary doesn't have Hungary in it. So you're fighting like another, it's the second Hungarian Revolution. You have no troops, you have no troops. Let's throw as much influence here as we possibly can. Yeah, we don't care about Peru that much. If we can intervene in a war with uh, the Austrians. Again, it's two countries, both of them don't have a standing army. Uh, do we have any other basic techs we don't have researched? We'll get you going, follow that up with um, expansions of some naval bases. You're already level 4. 